Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. Well, so this morning on the on the internet there was a theological discussion, and it was so cool. It's so theological discussion is one of my very favorite things because it goes straight to the source of of reality of who we are and what our purpose is in life, and it answers the big questions, you know, the huge questions. So, so, um, so. I recently came upon a group of people who are very learned in their way of discussing and and I'd say that the way that they do it is better even than what they call the parliamentary process where everyone has a chance to state their point of view and then everyone votes on that and then that becomes the way that things are for people. Uh, the way that they do it is highly respectful and very insightful very learned, very cool, a very cool, um, um, what I would call soul resonance when they, when they discuss. And I, I have a feeling that the way that, that they do that, is it called elocution, a way of, of talking, is, is going to be close to the way that we, people of New Earth, um, relate to uh, each other in harmony and make decisions about about what we want for, what vision we want for Earth and for, for the children of Earth and for the future of Earth and so forth. <sighs> Setting all that aside, let me get down to the point that was made this morning. I had made a point. I, I, remember, I remember the exact day. It was maybe 20 years ago. And uh, my, my good friend at the time, he had a friend um, who was an atheist, absolute atheist, right? And I was, I was experiencing ecstatic states of union with God. And so my point of view was like completely different from, from, from this person's point of view. And so we were all sitting down for lunch, right? And, um, and so the topic came up, is there a God? Is there a God? And so this person's name, his name was Charlie. And uh, he and I were, were, were talking it over. And he said, prove to me that there is a God. You know, you can't say that there is a God. There is no proof. It was like that. And um, so I, you know, I just waited for like an answer for, for a minute. And, um, and the thing that came out was, the, you, you've heard of this, is that when a fish is, is like, in the water, swimming in the water, it doesn't know that there's water there, right? That's just its home. Its home is the water. And in the same way, here we are in physical form, swimming in God. And we just don't know it because God is all around us. It's all that we, are, that we everything that we see is God. And, and we, are, we are part of God. So, and I remember Charlie got really aggravated over that because it's a kind of response where, where um, the logical mind can't step in. You know, he's still he's still kind of mulling it over in the back of his mind right now. Twenty years later, I suspect. So anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, Charlie. I didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> so anyway, I was um this morning that topic came up again, and I started out you know with the argument for Charlie. And another person brought in, they said, they added like a refinement, they honed the, the, um, the talk, the, I don't know the exact words, what you say, but you start with proposition and, and you, you either prove it or disprove it. And along the way, as you're coming up with what's more true, right, you hone the, you hone the details of the, of the truth. Okay, so, so what this other person said, which I thought was very wise, is um, in the same way that a fish doesn't know that it's in the water unless there's a little ripple in the water that it can sense, we humans don't know that we're within, within God 
within God unless God sends us a ripple of grace through the Holy Spirit. That's pretty cool, huh? So we feel the grace, just like I was feeling this, 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 back when in Charlie's days, I was feeling this wonderful um, presence of God through the incoming grace, the divine grace, the holy of the Holy Spirit. And that's how I knew. That's how I knew what to say to Charlie. And that's how I knew that there was a God. And so I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for this talk this morning that, that clued me into quite a bit. So I hope there are many such discussions in the future, not only about whether or not God exists and whether or not we are feeling the, the influx of grace into our hearts and into our, into our reality, into our families and into our, our communities and into our nations and all over earth, whether we're feeling Christ's love coming in and touching us and lighting our lives, but also the nuts and bolts. What are we going to do? What are we going to do about um, better education for children? What are we going to do about wise leadership for the, for the, for the world? What are we going to do about careful husbanding of the resources of this planet and so forth? All those questions can be dealt with in the same way, in a very, in a very um, with that kind of soul resonance, that kind of wisdom, wanting, seeking the truth, seeking the real nature of things, finding out the true solution to things, rather than standing, standing, uh, you know, within ourselves and saying, "This is the way it has to be." <laughs> because in the now, where we are, in the now, the, the way it has to be changes on a dime. It changes in, in, in flat, on a second flat. And, and we ourselves have to be poised like a, an, a skater on an, on an ice rink, ready to change, ready to whirl around, ready to, to stop on a dime. You know what I mean? It's, it's really exhilarating. I'm, I'm very glad to be alive now, and I'm very glad that you're sharing this journey with me. And so, talk to you later. <laughs>